Oh, hi there. Hi, I'm Kyle from Mario Outdoors, and today we're going to start with knots. So, to tie a figure follow through, you're going to take a bite out of the rope, and then you're going to take your working end, wrap it towards you across the rope, back around the rope, so it's on your side, and then up through the hole at the top, so you get a nice figure eight. Then you're gonna take the figure eight, go through or around the object that you're attaching to, and then you're gonna take the working end, shift the rope to the right, and then just start chasing back through the figure eight. So when you get to the end, you're gonna make sure that the ropes aren't overlapping and that they all sit nice and tight around the knot. So the next knot we're going to tie is a figure eight on a bite. So first, you take your tail end of rope, put it next to your original rope to create a bite in the rope. Then what you want to do is take that bite, create another bite, so you have a bite at the top. And then you take your original rope, cross towards yourself, go back around the original rope, and then take the bite and go up through the hole at the top. Once you do that, you'll have a figure eight and you'll also have a loop. So then to attach that to something, you just take a carabiner or whatever you're using to attach it to and then clip that onto your object and make sure it's completely tight. And then you have a nice strong knot. Hi guys, I'm Jeff from Mario Outdoors and I'm here to show you the Fisherman's Knot. So first, you want to take your rope, uh, the end of your rope, and make a loop, and then wrap your rope around this part and make an X with your rope like that. Then you're going to stick the end through the hole you've created, pull it tight, and you got the fisherman's knot. Oh. So now I'm going to show you how to make an overhand knot on a bite. So you take your rope, and then you make a bite out of it, and then you simply just take it and wrap it around and do a overhand. And you got yourself an overhand on a bite. So the next thought we're going to do is a bowline. So first, you start by taking one end of the rope, putting it through or around your object, and taking your standing end, creating a loop, and pulling it back through itself so that you create a slip knot. And once you do that, put your tail end through the slip knot, and pull the tail end and the standing line at the same time to create a bowline. So now we're going to go over a square knot. So the first thing we do is you create an overhand knot in the rope. And then you just create an underhand knot. So you have an overhand and an underhand together. Then when you pull that tight, you should get a rope that goes like that. And you can use this to attach two ropes or to make a loop. And that's a square knot. Hey guys, so now we're gonna be showing you how to do a water knot. So first you're gonna take webbing, which is the material it works best on, and you're gonna make an overhand knot in your webbing on one end of the rope just like that. And with the other end of the rope, you're simply just gonna follow through the route that you just made with that overhand knot. And then you're gonna pull it tight, and there you go. You got a water knot, and you use this to connect uh, two ropes together, or you can make a loop. So now we're gonna move on to hitches. The first hitch we're gonna do is a girth hitch. Simply take a bite of rope, put it over or through an object, and take the strands of rope there on the other end and pull it through and then you have a nice girth hitch. So now the next hitch we're going to do is a charter hitch. So first you need to take a bite out of your rope and make it into a loop and you make that loop so that your tail end is on top and pull another bite through there and pull it tight so you create a slip knot. Then take your tail end which has gone through or around an object that you're trying to tie it to and then you want to pull it tight until you get to attention that you want to. And then wrap this around to create an overhand knot on the rope to hold it tight. So I'm going to show you guys how to tie the clove hitch. So first you're going to take your rope and you're going to make a loop like this. And then you're going to take your standing end and make a loop, but you're gonna make it counterclockwise. So you're gonna take it 
and turn it like this, counterclockwise, and you're gonna bring the two loops together like that. Then you're gonna take a carabiner, put both loops through the carabiner, then pull it, and got yourself a clove hitch. So the next hitch we're gonna do is a tawline hitch. So you start by taking the working end of rope, go through or around where you're attaching to, and then go over your standing line so that you create a four. And then you're gonna wrap the rope once, twice, and three times on the inside of the loop. So you have three wraps. And then you're gonna cross over the rope and go once on the outside to create a fourth loop. And that's a taut line hitch.